that biatch was crazy. Good morning, it's Tuesday, June 3rd, and we already know that today is gonna be the best day of all time. Because actually yesterday at work, I actually had a pretty good day. So if I just keep doing what I did yesterday, it'll be the best day ever. And they raised, I don't wanna talk about it because it's like profesh, but they like raised my goals in the middle of the month and I thought like I couldn't do it. Well, not that I couldn't do it, but I was like, it's the middle of the month. And then I got my numbers for May and bam, I did it plus a little bit more. So hopefully I can carry that momentum over for June. But I am going on a business trip in a couple weeks, so not even a couple, I think like two weeks. It's not next week, but it's soon. So hopefully that'll, I'll come back with some coins in my pocket. I don't know which one this is today. I think it's a vanilla caramel cream and it's leaking. There's no napkins in there. Is there something on my lens? Because I can't see. I think there was something on my lens. And this light is red. I should just go out the other gate because I think the light's always green on the other side. So I hope everyone has a good day and we survive our eight hour cubicle timeout and then we come home and have fun. And maybe I'll take him to the park today. I was just so tired yesterday so we just had to pretend that we were in the park. I mean, he doesn't even really know what the park is. I don't know if he's ready to go to like a dog park yet and I kind of think dog parks are gross. When I had my cousin's dog, well, her puppy, Chloe, which was, she was a Jack Russell. That biatch was crazy. No, she was like literally mentally crazy. And then later on we found out she was deaf, so the whole time she wasn't listening to me. She was just looking at my hand signals because I taught her like sit, lay down, but yeah, she couldn't hear me. So that's one reason why she probably bit me twice like really bit me because I probably scared the crap out of her. I don't know why I'm talking about Chloe, but yeah. Oh, I used to take her to the park a lot, the dog park, because she was a Jack Russell, and they're crazy. Like they need mad exercise and space to run around. They're not house, do house or apartment dogs. But I don't know, I don't really want Bentley running around. I don't know, he's just so little. And I just feel like he picks stuff up so easily. Even though he had his last set of shots and his rabies and whatever. I, I don't know. So I was just going to take him to one of the parks around here and just kind of walk with him. And not like let him, not to like a dog. I don't even know if there's a dog park around here. Because when I had Chloe Bear, there was, I lived in a different place down here. I should probably Google that. And jam in the I car. Those are the things that we pick and choose. Even though we can't jam because they're talking and running their mouths. I'll see you guys after my eight hour timeout. I'm being like straight up lazy right now and I never thought I'd be one of those people that goes through a fast food drive through just to get a drink, but I'm really thirsty. I'm on my lunch break. And I feel like uh, maybe I need to bring two drinks with me to work. I should probably just drink water, but I don't want it. I've been going to the racetrack, which is like the quick trip, which is, it's like a gas, like a really big gas station. I feel like I've been going there every day and they like know me and I just feel like I need a break. So I'm going to Arby's and I will not get curly fries. Okay, I don't know what planet a Diet Pepsi is $2 at a restaurant, but whatever. I guess I'll go to racetrack because you get a big ass cup for a dollar and six cents. I failed. They have these cheddar pretzel nuggets. Can you see it? Can you see it? And I want them. But I've been such a fatty lately that I cannot indulge. We are getting back on track. We're going to be in the best shape ever. And we're gonna go out after work and we're gonna go for a walk and we're gonna take Bentley Bear to the park or something. Or, I don't know, I just don't wanna walk around my apartment complex because Shady McShaderson is still there. Like, I'm not gonna 
change my life forever, but just for a little while, I don't want to run into him. So we're going to go home. We're going to scoop Bentley Bears in the car and we're going to do something. Hopefully I won't be so tired like I was yesterday. And me and Brandy are having a fake fight and I love it. I don't think you could see it. We just text each other all day and like curse each other out. It's so much fun. This is taking really long. I could have drove all the way to the damn racetrack and been back and had my lunch break. I don't know why I go to lunch between like 4 and 4.30 when I change my hours and I leave work at 6 but I kind of like because then when I go back it'll be like 5 and then I'm done. Well an hour but I can make an hour fly by. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go play with my phone now because I don't know what else to do in the drive through but we're motivated, yeah. Hola mi gente, I'm in my pee, whoa, my pajamas. And Bane, the Bantleys are playing. We were trying to do like obedience training, but someone has ADD and it's probably me. So we're gonna have a toy shower. Toy shower! Look at all these toys. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I remember that. I feel like you have more toys and they're just scattered everywhere. Okay, so I think I had the most fun in this whole let's throw all the toys around venture. Whatever. I'm just trying to be a fun mom. And I have a random clip in my hair and I don't know why, so I'm just going to leave it there. So I'm going through because I was making... I'm really classy and I had fat-free hot dogs for dinner. They're a Hebrew National, and that's a good brand because they're kosher. Well, they have to be kosher. They're Hebrew National. Yep, kosher. Hey! Got that for dinner. And then there was, like, some gross booge. I don't know what, on my thing. So then I'm like, let's spray Clorox cleanup all over the fridge. And now I'm finding random stuff that expired. Like 2012. I know I used that this year. This has no date on it. Oh, best by March 2012. I think when not, next time I move, I'm gonna like do an inventory and not just move everything. I think I literally just bought this, so this better be good. Ooh, it's gluten free. Does that make me like trendy and all non gluten free? I cleaned all this out and it's nice and shiny. Put the vodka we don't care about in here. And then we're gonna put the anonymous house guest twisted tea. And those are his twisted teas from the year before last. It's like an inside joke. We have some purse wine, some Pinot for the purse. That's why it's in a small little encasing like that. So you can put in your purse. Uh, we have some salad dressing. Best if used by February 2013 something. Feb 2013, is that why it's so liquidy? Does it smell? It smells a little tart. Such a wasteful a-hole. Oh, this garlic, this is probably bad. And I probably, I didn't even open it yet. I probably bought it to replace the one I had that expired. Now by October 2nd, 2015, we're good! I hear the sound of a little tea puppy. Oh, you were just drinking some drink? Were you drinking some water? Oh honey, you can't drink from that side. You gotta go, you gotta go inside. You're a silly <laughs> Joking! And the Bentleys are gonna call it a night so we can go in the bed and cuddle with the bubble. You want to no, I don't. I just wanna lay on the carpet. I love the carpet because you vacuum it like, like a maid. You vacuum all the time. And I'm kind of pissed at you because you washed my head and my face, but whatever. I still have tear stains and you love me. You also, like, I don't know. You tried to put my hair in a stupid bow, but I ain't about that life. So I'm going to say bye to you guys because you're all my friends. Um, um, I don't know. Lay down. Good night. Bye. I wasn't done talking. Bye.